Hello? Can you guys hear me? Uh, today is going to be a very strange setup, but we will work with it. Ignore, ignore this OBS background, whatever that's going on. Um, hold on, let me fix it. I, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I forgot that I needed to have made a background for this uh, stream, and so I for I just forgot. I was I've been working on a clip. I'm trying to start doing highlights of my streams now, and I've been working on that. And all of a sudden, I realized, oh crap, it's time to time to stream. So hold on, let me. What shall I do for a background? Time. Um, hmm. No, we shouldn't do that one. How about... This. That will be my background. Just my, <laughs> my desktop window. Um, no, but anyways, uh, today we're doing a fun sort of stream. I wanted to try uh, some different stuff recently uh, for a banjo. Yeah, I guess close to a banjo. Um, hold on. Let's see. Oh yeah, how's the audio? Is it too loud, too low, too high? Let me know. Cause I was I was messing with it earlier and I think it sounds okay, but maybe it's too low. Or one of those. I don't know. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm just setting up my chair situation. Um I think's fine. Paulo thinks fine. Is that too loud? That sounds a little bit loud to me. Does that sound okay? Hold on, let me, um, tune it again. I tuned it a little bit later, a little bit <coughs> earlier. Um, however, my I haven't changed my guitar strings ever since I bought it, and it's just been sitting since, uh, since I bought it. Like, two years now, so. The, basically, your strings... <laughs> Uh, won't stay in tune for very long. Crap. That is really low. Um, but I was thinking... Hold on, sorry. That sounds so... Hold on, I'll talk. <clears throat> uh, so oddly enough, um, the only string that's really, that really has trouble is the the E string, the the top E string, not the bottom. 
The rest of them seem to hold their tune. Okay, um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, the, the song I was going to do is an older song, it's like a 70s song, hold on, I'll pull, I'll pull it up, this is a song <coughs> that I was learning like two years ago when I, around the time that I first, I guess a few months after I got my guitar, and, uh, no, it, I think it was the, the Christmas before 2020 that I bought this guitar. But anyways, uh, here, I'll show you guys. It's a song called, uh, hold on, don't look at my tabs. Let's make this. Uh, here I'll show you. Will I play it on stream? I don't know. Play the actual song, I mean. Where is that? Okay. But it's called Dance With Me by, uh, Orleans? Yes. Is it Orleans or New Orleans? It's just Orleans. Let's see if I can find the, the guitar, um, practice tutorial that I did. Yeah, this is the one. Um... <clears throat> However, will I play it actually? Uh, let's. Sh I don't know. I don't. Bazinga! Hello, Ka uh, Kalja. Hello, Attila. How's it going? I'm trying to decide. Should I play it on the stream? Um, oh well, I think it's fine, because it's not like I'm not giving credit to the guy. Hold on, let me make this smaller so I can see. Uh, I never finished this. And let me turn this down. I never finished the tutorial for this, and so... I have just woken up. Oh, I have no idea, bro. B minus seven. I think it should be fine. But let me change the output. Uh, I've had a few requests uh, on the net from people who have watched my Dance With Me video. Uh... No, I haven't played it in so long. And what you do to start with is you, uh, you need an open E string, uh, you need the 5th fret of the B, the 6th fret of the G. Oh gosh, this is going to be a long time. I might have been too, too daring since I haven't played this in so, played the guitar in so long. I might not be, we'll, we'll see if I'm able to just. It's just got a nice little feel to it. It's in the key of D, you need the 5th fret of the B, the with is you, uh, you need an open E string, uh, you need the fifth fret of the B, okay, the sixth fret of the G, and open, uh, okay, open D. Oh, yes, lettered numbers. Oh, I think I remember how to do it actually now. I think that's how it goes next. I practice this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. 
and it was, and I still never learned it because I wasn't that good, but still. Oh well, okay. And I keep you here. Roll a nice cool. Give you that double E. And do a downstroke on those four strings. And then you do an upstroke on those four strings. And you slur up. From the 6th fret of the G to the 7th fret of the G, you hammer your 3rd finger down onto 7B, and you put your 7B. From the 6th fret of the G to the 7th fret of the G, you hammer your 3rd finger down onto 7B, and you put your 1st finger behind the 5th fret of the E string. So that turns... Fifth fret of the E string. Fifth fr fret of the E string. Hold on. Oh, okay, I see. See, soon I need to get, um, a webcam so I can just point it at my fingers or something so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, alright. So it should go... Something like that. Uh, I have this effect on. I can change it. He did not know you play the guitar. No, I don't play it, <laughs> Karen. <laughs> I just can copy what other people do and play it. Thank you, Karen, though. Ah. Oh, man. This hurts. Drink water stapler, no. And so you're sort of, it's kind of an A chord to a D chord. You leave a little pause, and then you do a down stroke on the four string. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, that's hard. You have been defeated, Attila. That thing that he does, the the strumming where you skip, like you move your hand, but you skip. You don't always strum every time your hand passes the the strings. That's this difficult. Dang, that's hard to do that. We'll do that. We'll practice that later, though. The strumming, proper strumming techniques. All right, let's see what's next. And then you do an upstroke on the high-pitched E string, a downstroke on the open A string, and do a little down up, and then you play an open D string. So the first section. So that first, a little down up, and then you play an open D string. Okay, so E, E, A, D. Oh man, this part is hard. 
this song is not very beginner friendly and so this is probably why it took me so long um like learning how to do it right man this is hard ow my fingers are already hurting a lot <laughs> That's something with guitar too, is you gotta have tough fingers. You just gotta keep on playing and build up the calluses. But I haven't played in so long, so. I think that's how he's doing it. Uh, hold on. Should be. Up, down. Does it hurt for a long time when you first start playing? Seems painful. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, it, do it does. Like, you'll play, and your fingers will just feel kind of raw, but uh, you get over it soon. If you just keep playing, you just gotta play through the pain. But, luckily, uh, the thing is, with Electric guitars, the the strings are a lot thinner than acoustic guitars. And so, like, with that guy's playing, it would be a, a lot harder for somebody to get used to, like, beginners with their fingers. But I have it a, a lot easier because I have a, an electric guitar. I'm lucky because I can rem I remember how to play this song a little bit, but this would be a lot harder. <laughs> this would be a lot harder um, if I had never played this before. So. It is how you get stronger. I knew it was electric, yeah, but I can make it sound not electric. Uh, like, hear that? It sounds completely different. Let's see what it sounds like. It sounds, this song, I should have been doing just acoustic mode. This song sounds prettier with acoustic. fingers are already hurting. Makes sense. I always had wondered, guitar players are built different, lol. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, I'm sure their, their fingers are made out of steel. So the first section. So that first bit. Do it really slowly. And you've got this rather nice sort of natural rhythm part. And these are all little double stops or sort of mini chords. You've got the fifth fret of the B and the sixth fret of the G. Six of the G. 
That's a down stroke. Then you come up to the seventh fret of the G of the second finger. Third finger goes on to the seventh fret of the. Come up to the seventh fret of the G. Okay, so fifth, fifth of the B, six of the G. This is. This one, this part that he's doing takes a long. I remember, I was pretty. It took me a while to learn how to do it. This is probably the hardest part so far. G of the second finger. That's a down stroke. Then you come up to the seventh fret of the G of the second finger. Third finger goes on to the seventh fret of the B. G and B. Uh, seventh. Turn my mouse on. So both the same fret, that's an upstroke. Then you come up to the seventh fret of the G of the second finger. Hold on, I might need to write all this stuff down. Double stops or sort of mini chords. You've got the fifth fret of the B and the sixth fret of the G. Fifth fret of the B. Stroke. Then you come up to the seventh fret of the G of the second finger. So that's fifth and sixth, huh? So it sounds like we're we're replaying the beginning of the song. Third finger goes on to the seventh fret of the B. Seventh, oh. So both the same fret. That's an upstroke. In fact, all the all the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, six strum part. And these are all little double stops or sort of mini chords. You've got the fifth fret of the B and the sixth fret of the G. Okay. That's a down stroke. Hold on, let me write this down. Sorry, I'm a beginner. Uh, fifth. One, two, three, four, five. It would be fifth. B. Sixth G. Then you come up to the seventh fret of the G of the second finger. Th seventh fret, thread, fret of the G. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Third finger goes on to the seventh fret of the B. B. Okay, so seventh, seventh G, seventh B. Seventh G, seventh B. Hold on. So both the same fret. That's an upstroke. In fact, all the all the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, six strums are all up strums. So seven and seven. I assume you only play those two. Hmm. Okay. Then you come to eight, eighth fret of the B string, first finger, ninth fret of the G string, second finger. Eighth B, ninth G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth of the G. Finger. Then you come to drums. So seven and seven. Are the frets those white lines going across horizontally? Yes. Um, actually, uh, well, I'm not sure technically, but as you go, as you, I'm sure you can probably see, he's playing between them. I guess, yeah, I, I think those are the frets. But yeah, you play between them. And so basically, he'll say eighth fret, and I'm counting each time. I'm just counting how many squares are in between. Seven. Then you come to eight, eighth fret of the B string, first finger, ninth fret of the G string, second finger. 
Then you come back to the seventh fret. Ninth, hold on, so this is seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, ninth of the G, eight of the B, ninth G, G, eighth B. Of the B and the G. Down to the 5th and the 6th. Hold on, brother. To the 7th fret of the B and the G. 7th fret, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Down. 7th G, B. To the fifth and the sixth, down to the third and fifth and the sixth. And the fourth at so third fret the B, fourth fret the G. Third B, he said, third B, fourth G. And you end up on the second fret of the G and the second fret of the B. Use your second finger on the G, third finger on the B. So in other second, second G, second B. Hold on. In other words, what you do, you always leave your second finger on the G string up and down, and it's the first finger on the B string if the shape is diagonal, and it's the third finger on the B string if the shape is kind of straight, both the same fret. So yeah. Okay. Does he do? I'm trying to remember if he does uh, up, up strokes or down strokes. Okay. All right. Let's try that. Fifth and sixth of the G B and G. Okay. I think that's how it goes. So fifth, seventh, ninth, seventh, fifth, third, second. It's hard because I'm trying to only play the two strings, like only play those two, if you guys can see that. And I'm, especially with the pick, it's even harder. Hold on, maybe I'll, let me try just my fingers then. And you guys tell me if it's too low or anything. I think that's how uh, it goes after that. I don't know if this will work on electric, but using your nails may help. 
usually works on a classical guitar since the strings are thicker. Yeah, I don't have that thick of nails though. Also, the video's a bit loud. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'll turn it down a little bit. It's probably because my... Uh, it's probably because my the mic input is so so low. The reason my video probably seems loud. Okay. Let's try from the beginning, shall we? It's hard to do the rest of the song w with just your fingers. That's why the pick is nice. Ah. It's hard to not play the this this bottom E string while I'm playing. Dang, my fingers are hurting so bad now. Let's see if we move on to the next part. So, link that to the first bit. And it's okay if you sort of um, overshoot and hit other strings either side of that. Especially Seems like he's playing uh, each of those on the upstroke, huh? Okay, we'll practice. 
five so I'm gonna do the D string actually it's okay if you play the D string with those notes as well here I'm playing that D string an awful lot that open D is fine so you've ended up on the second fret of the B and the second fret of the G and you slur up your third finger to the uh, third fret of the B string and you assemble a G chord now it's a G chord. A G chord, um, but with that added note, third fret of the B. So in other words, you've got third fret of the E, little finger, third fret of the B, third finger, open G, open D, uh, second fret of the A, first finger, and second finger is on the third fret of the bass. So you've got. Oh gosh, that's really hard. What? That sounds terrible. What am I playing wrong? like that so I think something like that ah. something like that remember a few chords but I would have to see them again in order to play them again I think he's playing like that though Something like that? It's too hard, I keep on playing the D really loudly when I do that, those upstroke things, the uh, these things.
Let's see what's next. Yeah, this is this is guitar playing, just practicing over and over. It takes a while. So you slur up. And with slur up. My E string, this top string, I think is really out of tune, so it sounds strange. With that G chord, you play the treble strings, like the top three, and the bass three, and then the top three. Whoa. What did they do right there? Then you move your first finger from the A string and you play the open D, hammer the first finger. Oh. Wrong to the second fret of the D. Do a little down up. Strum. See, it's still out of tune. So it goes, uh, let's see. See, I have to change when I get to this part. So when I do. When I go from here to here. From here to all right, here to here, I have to switch. So right now, uh, I'm using my middle finger and my ring finger, and uh, the middle finger is behind the ring finger. But like in the in the notes leading up to right here, but in order to switch to the G chord that I was doing, I have to switch to where my middle finger's in front and my ring finger's behind. Huh. fingers Damn that already sounds Sorry, I was, I'm trying to remember the old songs I used to play, other than just this one. Okay. Oh, strings.
it's easier if I play it slower so that my fingers can also take a rest. <laughs> Try with my pick. See, it sounds. I like how it sounds without the pick. It also sounds very nice, but it's just harder to play it. My fingers really hurt. I was trying to remember, I, um, I learned all sorts of different songs. About to have to head out. Thank you for the chill guitar session, Stapler-sama. Thank you, Classy Corgi, for joining. As I <laughs> am very poorly trying to learn a song. Thank you for watching me. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's see. No, I used to, I didn't used to learn full songs, but I would learn, like, parts of songs, like, of a few different songs. Not, like, super much, but, uh, a little bit. And, um, I was, I'm trying to remember if I can play ones, like, I remember there's a, um, a Shawn Mendes song that I learned but I can't remember how to play it. See, I can't remember. Let's see if we can look it up, actually. How about... Uh, what song was it? Um, it was Shawn Mendes. I didn't particularly like this song, but for whatever reason, I looked up how to play it. Ah, the song. What are his songs? Um, it was just a recent popular one. 
Where is his songs? Is there not a song list? Uh, let's see. Was it that one? I can't have you. I think it was it was that one. Guitar. I don't think it was chords though. You would literally just play. Hold on, let's see if this one plays something. Oh, nope. I'm showing all this. Maybe I'm not allowed to show this stuff, though. Was it this song? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure, but it wasn't chords. It was quite... It was just notes. It was just individual notes. I'm not sure what, really what that's called, but... Oh, well, let's play something else. Uh, I mean... See, I can't remember. I can't remember. I only remember the first three notes. I think it's... This would be next, but... Oh! Dang. Yeah, it was... Oh! Wait. What was the next? I think I got the first three sets. No. How did it go? That sounds out of tune. I'm trying to remember what the song was. Hmm. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I got it. Still something like that. Something like that. Maybe it's just this is out of tune, so it sounds weird, because it sounds weird when I do that. I don't know if you can really hear that that well, though, because I'm just struck it, plugging pl it with my fingers. I think it was something like that. Dang, I keep on accidentally hitting other strings. Hold on, let me see if I can pull up my tuner. Because uh, this sounds so bad. This really does, this E. Or maybe I'm just playing the wrong note, but I don't think so. Too sharp. Oh gosh. Mm, it says it's fine. Oh well. So this is... Thank you. 
Dang, I can't figure it out. I'm just gonna visualize in my head. One second. I mean, it should be, it should be, uh, hold on. It just notified my Discord chat that I was live now. Why did it do that? That's so strange. I don't know why I did that. I think I almost got it though. Oh, and nine, it notified me two minutes, nine minutes after two. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, is that it? I can't tell. I think that's it. That all the way up there. Let's play with my pick. Oh crap. This is trippy playing with the pick. Mm. 
I don't know, I can't play it quick enough to, for me to be able to tell if that's the right note or not. I think that's the right note. Have you tried using a metronome thing? <laughs> well, you you get your tempo down once you get the notes down. The problem isn't the tempo. The problem is I'm just trying to having trouble pressing the notes because I just I'm just beginner. I don't have much practice. That only helps with keeping consistent tempo, Paula. Thank you. 
Oh, blast of you guys' ears, sorry. Did not mean to do that. I'm just trying to move my microphone. It's a very janky setup I have going on. <laughs> Sudden ASMR and Neat, you're welcome. Thank you, Paula. Maybe, hold on, let me try turning it up and see if it's a little bit louder. at the moment. I'm glad you guys like it. Let's see if I can play with a pick. Dang, this is a certainly good uh, wrist workout. I haven't... My wrists are... Uh, I just don't use them, I guess, that much. I'm not used to it. Dang, it's easier to play on the pick, isn't it? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
old British man in the video seem enamored by your playing. I wish. I wish, certainly. And I forgot how much fun it is playing the guitar. Maybe I'll have to pick it up again. At least maybe I can just do streams like this because I enjoy. I used to play, I would play like for just two hours at a time. I just practice over and over. So it was a lot of fun. So when you remember how to play dance with me now that we were playing earlier. My fingers are pretty pretty raw right now, but Let's see if we can play, um, ooh, we have a fun one. Here's another old song. Uh, if you guys have ever heard this song. I think this is one that I was doing. This one is also hard. <laughs> and another old man, basically. Seventy song, famous song. You're doing just guitar song. This is part two. Never. I'm going to show you what they both are, but we're going to mainly focus on one guitar part, which is a kind of a good one if you were playing one guitar in a band or you wanted to play it by yourself, because uh, the two parts together, of course, you need two guitar players to do that. So let's get to a close-up. Check out how to play this beast. So I'm going to take you through it one riff at a time, and the first riff is the riff that you hear right at the beginning of the song, which is this. Okay, so we've got a little bit of palm mute there with the picking hand, just touching the string ever so slightly to... without it, a bit bright, just a little bit, just to mute it down a little bit, okay? So then we're going to be playing the thicker string twice, then the seventh fret on the fifth string. Then the fifth fret. Why did you fret. say the thickest string twice? Why do you say that? Just to mute it down a little bit, okay? So then we're going to be playing the thickest string twice. See how how his sounds and then how mine sounds. Okay. 
trash. Things something like that. Then the seventh fret on the fifth string. Seventh fourth fret, fifth string, fourth finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your guitar smells a bit off, bro. Why does that sound so bad? Wow. Then the fifth fret, back to the seventh fret. Then we're going to play the fifth fret on the thicker string and hammer on the third finger into the seventh fret. And then we're going to play the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the fifth string, but we're going to pick it. That sounds so bad. Wow, that's so out of tune. Dang, why does that sound so bad? Hold on. Yeah, I probably need to just get somebody to restring my guitar. Really? sound huh it's that's strange where'd my pick go who stole my pick who stole it okay there it is all right Dang, that sounds so bad. See how it's fluctuating? I bet Paula would have stolen it, yeah. Next part. So we got. Okay, 
in it's all going to take down picks except for that that second last note which is the fifth fret on the fifth string which will be up down okay so we've got down 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 hammer up down 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 hammer up down little hammer on this note and then the up pick to the down pick is really what will make it sound kind of like the record a lot of people play both as hammer-ons but it never kind of sits the same way you know you really want to be all down picks hammer on up down for that last note okay riff number two goes like this it's probably what most people hear as being the that is the hardest part. That first part was easy. The proper funky part in this song. It's a really cool little riff part. to play. So uh, we're starting off with an E9 chord. Let's see what that is. Uh, second, third. Should be right here. Boom. Boom. Is it that? Now, uh, if you're not familiar with how to play an E9, you want to go and check out the whole dedicated lesson on uh, playing the E9 in a funk context. That's part of my funk guitar course. I'm not going to go through all the details of that now, but uh, you're going to play the E9, you're going to do a down stroke and an up stroke on the E9, and then you've got two. How do you play that, huh? Uh, I think it's like this. Is this how you do it? Oh, is it like that? Oh, uh, this is this is why it's so hard. Is just because this chord is crazy hard. It basically slices your your ring finger in two. hurts so bad. Ow! That really hurts. Wow. Especially after it's my fingers raw. Dang! Ow, ow, ow. Alright, let's try. Scratches. So just relaxing the E9 to get the muted hit. So down, up, mute, up. Okay? Now we've got this really cool little which is actually an E7 chord. Uh, and it looks very similar to the E9, obviously, but we're just relaxing that third finger so the thinnest two strings are muted. So we just end up having this seventh fret, sixth fret, seventh fret is what's sounding. The thinnest two strings are muted by the underneath of the third finger there, okay? So we've got the E9, up, mute, up. Okay, this is just an E7. Make sure the mute of the, the thicker string too with the tip of the second finger. And then E flat and back to E7 again. E flat seven, that is. So it's the same shape. Okay, E9. Thanks something like that. Although mine sounds a lot jankier than his.
it's hard. Ow. Man, it's hard to play the individual notes and not block out the other ones. down fix okay again e9 e7 e flat 7 e7 so after this little dominant seventh movement here we've got this f sharp 9 which will take an up uh, an up strum which is the last 16th note of beat 3 and then uh, we move that down one fret to an f9 which will be a downstroke on the offbeat, the and. Okay, let me just play that whole bar nice and slow so you can see what's going on. I'll do the count as well. So three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and one E and. This is really hard, at least for a beginner like me. Dang, it's hard to get the individual notes like I was saying. It's these two notes that are that I can't that I'm not pressing hard enough that sound bad that ruin it Super loud, I, I didn't even think about that. Hold on. It's so piercing sounding.
one song easier. Ow. Let's even play one more time. One more song. Let me think. Um, there's a guy I used to watch. I don't know if I ever learned this song, though. Uh, oh, the popo are coming. Uh, no, not that. Oh, that's a good song. This is a guy I used to watch, definitely Dean. Why it's this guy? I guess I haven't watched him in two years. I like this Amy Winehouse song a lot. Amy Winehouse is one of my favorite American artists also, by the way. I really like a lot of her songs. Uh... Let's see what he's got. I don't think I learned any of these, but we'll have to see. Wow, look at all this stuff he's done recently. Hmm. I'm looking for his older stuff. Oh, let's see. This one's so pretty. So now it's playing the second string in the second fret. And the second thing is going to move down the string, so now it's playing the fourth string in the second fret. And we I don't know if I ever learned this. Alright, how we doing guys? It's Dino here from Fundamental Guitar. Today we're going to be learning how to play Cherry, written by Amy Winehouse and Salam Remy. Fantastic song, taken from a fantastic album, the Frank album. Um, as always, jazzy kind of style. But these chords are really simple to play, guys. Uh, there's only four that we need for the entire song. They are D major 7, E9, E minor 9, and A7. So those are the four chords that we need for the entire song. Uh, Hold on, he's got a... Oh, I can't... A clamp? Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Which I do also have so let's put that on hold on dang ooh my wrists are so weak i can barely <laughs> open this clamp okay there we go this is a clamp by the way that's what i'm talking about and if you can see with my left hand there wasn't a lot going on there wasn't no crazy positions or shapes um as you can find sometimes with jazz chords so these are really probably one of the easiest ones um from in one acid album to learn um so Let's go into, um, let me play a little bit of it, sing some of the melody so you hear how it all fits together. If you've listened to the track, you'll know that there's like a uh, Brazilian style rhythm, like bossa nova basically. Um, so, so I'm not using a, a pick. It's quite tricky, but I'm going to show you a stripped down version so you still get the vibe. Um, it just won't sound right strumming those chords. Um, so let me play some of it and then we'll go to the lesson from there. So, her name is Cherry. We just met, and already she knows me better than you. She understands me after 18 years, and you still don't treat me like you are to do. Maybe we could talk about things if you were made of wood and strings, cause you so thick. Patience then, and I got me a new best friend with a pickup that puts you to shame. And Cherry is her name. All right, there we go. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, guys. Um, but it, you know, syncing together that rhythm with the chords can be a bit tricky. So I'm gonna break down the left hand, then we'll break down the right hand, and pull it all together. Um, you may have noticed the capos there. The song is actually. Capo, um, it's in the key of D, That's the standard saying. tuning, 4-4 four, four timing, but they don't need a capo to be honest, I'm just putting it there to, I've raised it a tone just to help me, uh, easier to sing because 
people when I say it's got quite a high voice and I'm just I'm singing in a low octave there. So you play along the track, no capo required. Everything that I'm saying, guys, is relative to the capo, so we treat it as though it was a nut. Um, let's start looking at the um, the chords and how to play them. So the first chord, D major seven. How do you play that? We take our first finger and we will bar the first three strings in the second fret. We play from the fourth string down. That's a D major seven. Next chord. It's an E9. Let's play our E9. We're going to take our third finger and play the first string in the second fret. Second finger is going to play the fifth string in the second fret. And the index finger is going to play the third string. Okay, so it's second string in the second fret and the second thing is going to move down the string so now it's playing the fourth string in the second fret and we strengthen the fifth string down ah so it goes That's the order of the chords for the verse, it changes slightly for the chorus, um, but I'll show you that as well. Let me now look at the strumming pattern, right? So, um, finger picking, so it could be a bit strange to people who you know, are not used to using um, their fingers, um, but you can create really nice sound um, and vibe. So, stripped down version of the bossa nova rhythm that's being played. Uh, before I go into it scientifically, um, I want you to just have a listen, guys. Just listen to what um, I'm playing and, you know, while you're looking at what I'm doing. And uh, I reckon you'll be able to, you know, figure out a large portion of what's happening even before I go into the description. Um, don't underestimate your ability to, um, uh, you know, figure out uh, what's going on by just using your ear. Um, there was a time when we didn't have uh, YouTube videos and... Uh, online tutorials and stuff and you know transcribing was the method of choice so um, listening and replicating um, would be like a very valuable skill and it still is to be honest but it's just overlooked because there's so much resources available um, so anyway let me start I just want to play it right no melody no singing just the, the rhythm and I want you to listen I'm gonna play a bit slowly right so you can listen to what's happening here so is like bass notes being played on their own, treble strings being played on their own, and some slaps. And that's basically what it is, right? So in between those three things, you're getting this kind of percussive um, rhythm that's moving along. Um, so let's let's take our D major seven, right? And our fingers are basically going to be on the first four strings, right? Farmer's mm -hmm. playing the bass note um, to the D. Um, what we're going to do is pluck the bass note. 
followed by the treble strings and the slap. That's the first section. Good afternoon, so, hello, Jaja. Bass, treble, slap. And when you slap, you slap your fingers back into position on the four strings and then pull all four simultaneously. So bass, treble, slap, and then all four together. Practice that. basically the format for the entire song uh, as the chords progress. There's a couple of tricky changes because um, it's a split bar um, and there's also a bass note change in the next uh, two chords. So now we're going to go to the E9. So now we pluck in the bass notes to sixth. And there, when you pluck all the strings together, so bass note, treble, slap, slap your fingers down into the middle four strings and then pluck those four strings so the bass note is changing from the E to the um, B there. There we go. And then the next transition, E minor 9 to A7. Split bar there, guys. So there's only two beats for each one. So it just basically be the bass, treble, slap, change. Bass, treble, slap, change. D major 7. Alright, so that's the only tricky part there. It's a split bar. Um, between your um, E minor 9 and your A7 there. So let me now look at the chorus. Uh, there's no new chords for the chorus. Mm. This E string is out of tune. <laughs> I need a new guitar string. Why does it sound like that? Do I have a favorite guitar song? I really like the one I was practicing at the beginning. Uh, what was that one? Hold on, let me go to the restroom real quick. And I'll be right back. And I'll, There was another one that I really like. Hold on, I'll be right back. We'll answer your question. Oh, got you guys. If you weren't awake, you are now. All right, one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, 
literally walking the city on my way to get my bus. That's fun. I'm currently playing the guitar. Tell the driver I say hi. I'll tell the driver you say hi. Um, there's a 60s song that I was just thinking of. Let's see if I can find it. Um, that I really like. One second. Uh, man. Why does it sound like there's kids just standing right outside? I bet some kids are gonna egg my house. What is this song? Uh, oh, um. How's that song go? Uh, it could be ghosts. I don't think I have a. I don't think I have that playlist anymore. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, okay. Whoa, did I ever learn that? Uh, well, here's a list of... Dang, I forgot I played all these songs. Man, Long Cool Woman. I have no clue what you're talking about, Paulo. Rocket 69. Long Cool Woman by the Hollies. Um, although I don't remember how to play that. Oh, wow, I have a lot of so songs. Upside Down by Jack Johnson, that um, Curious George theme song. I, I really love that song. That's a favorite guitar song of mine. Uh, oh, wow. If you've ever heard of Sugar Ray, that 90s band, Someday by Sugar Ray. I'm gonna have to do this next time. Maybe I'll play this on Friday. I haven't decided my Friday stream. Maybe I'll go along and see if I can remember all these other, uh, these old songs. I forgot that I played all these. Um, Spooky by, uh, is it spooky? Spooky. Classics IV. That's an old 60s song. That's a cool song. Um, Best of My Love by the Eagles. I don't think I ever learned that song, but that's a really pretty... I really like the Eagles, uh, and I always listened to them growing up, and that's a, that's one of my favorite songs, uh, guitar songs. Uh, Wildfire by Michael Martin Murphy, that old 80s song. These are old, old songs that I'm looking at. That song's also. You like rock, like Johnny B. Good? Uh, no, not so much. That's okay. Not my favorite, though. Um, Autumn Leaves, if you've ever heard Autumn Leaves. Wow, that's a really pretty song. I forgot all these songs. These are really pretty songs. Uh, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll do that Friday then. I never bothered learning actual songs on guitar, but I learned, I did learn My Friends by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hotel California. That is my most least favorite eagle song. I've heard that so many millions of times. I never want to hear that song ever again. So I no, I don't like that song. <laughs> and I won't play it. It's quite easy. You should try. My friends. Yeah, I do like some of Red Hot Chili Peppers stuff. Um, uh, 
Give It Away Now is a good song. I'm sorry, guys, but that song is so way too overplayed. I've heard that so many millions of times. I no longer, that's my least favorite. I do not like that song of the Eagles. Uh, but let me finish playing this. Freebird's 10 minute long guitar solo. I don't know what you're talking about. These kids are like standing right in front of my house. I can hear them. They're probably trying to listen to me. RHCP is a huge part of my childhood. Yeah, I forgot there was that Californication. Uh, meme. I, I remember that meme. Everybody was doing the meme of their album cover. How about Country Roads? Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's a pretty song. But it's also just... I mean, just another popular song that's been played way too much. You gotta like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Amy Winehouse's songs, though, a lot of hers. Cherry, um, uh, I don't know Hold the Line by Toto. Please do not say Africa by Toto, or whatever. Toto. Please do not say that song. I also hate that song. <laughs> Wow, you don't like popular classics. I mean, I like some of them, but some of them I just heard them. I mean, so what if I don't like them? Tubular Bells, Mike Oldfield? I've never heard that. Probably uh, also stuff by John Mayer, his old um, album Room for Squares. I love that, and I have to listen to that every... at least once a year. I really love that album. It's odd you don't know some of these. Uh, yeah, I, I guess the songs don't get around that much. some other songs that I like. Uh, what's her name? Karee Bailey Ray. Karee? Corinne. Corinne Bailey Ray. I also like a lot of her songs. Dun, 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 dun. 
think I could play that long, cool woman song. Let's see if I remember how to do this one. Pretty sure it was this guy. Why is it always just one of these? Marty Schwartz here Rod with Stewart, Marty Billy Music, going to bring you this Holly. I know Billy Joel, Rod Stewart, David Bowie, I know them. Song, this classic, classic song that I thought was CCR for a long time, but it's not. Anyway, we'll break it down, have some fun. Also, I've got free courses at my site, Marty Music. Uh, first comment down there will take you there. Thanks for that extra support. Let's break it down. <laughs> Open E, hammer the second fret of the A, open D, and you get that. From that open D, middle finger is going to go onto the second fret D and slide up to the fifth fret. pick the open G right next to it. Now middle oh. finger goes to the fourth fret. Whoa. Working still. Hopefully, it's still working. My computer just died. Probably because I've been streaming for so long. No, come back. Can you hear me, guys? Help! Windows 11 got her. Yeah, they finally assassinated my stream because I never... Because I never updated. We're back, though. We're back. 
Okay, where were we? Okay. Of the D string, and you pluck. Hold on. Uh, pluck D G B. B. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Then you slide that down to the second fret and you pick the DGB. Oh, second. Okay. And you pluck DGB. What does he play before that? Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. Then you pick the open G right next to it. Oh. Dun. Gonna hop off. Okay, bye, Attila. See ya. Alright, what's next? Now, middle finger goes to the fourth fret. Yes. Uh, my strings are bad, Kalja. They're old. They, so they, they won't keep any tune or anything. So... <laughs> well, I... That was because I plucked them like that, but... Yeah, they, they, uh... They'll just... They've been like that. I haven't been able to fix them. I just need to get new strings, basically. I haven't changed them in, like, two years. But let's see if I... Re... Yeah, it just, it can't hold a consistent. See, it's already lost. <laughs> What's next? Of the D string, and you pluck D, G, B. Then you slide that down to the second fret, and you pick the D, G, B. So you put all that together, you get this. Now, we're gonna do two sets of two notes. It's gonna be the open D, G. Then, 2nd fret, A string, 
followed by the open D. So. So, your ring finger is going to land on that third fret of the E string. And that middle finger is already on the second fret of the A string. And now we're going to pick E, A, D for this whole next pattern. Right, like that. Then middle finger to the second fret of the E string now. Same picking on the right. Okay. Right. Back to the original. Okay, so you go. slide your ring finger up to the fifth fret and you're gonna leave the open A string there and it's that same picking pattern okay something like that Thank you. 
that sounds so cool. Good job. Thanks. But that's only because I've practiced this a million times, and I'm just picking up from what I practiced before. And it sounds better on the... This guy sounds way better than me. The fact you practice many times just makes it cooler. No, it means that I'm just a scrub who can't play the guitar unless she practices a million times. Even though those are the same note, they like add a kind of droney cascading sound. I wish I was that talented. Riff starts over, so let me go back to the beginning here, slow. Now we have an E power chord, index finger on that second fret A string. You got the open E with it, and you're gonna have two, four, five, four, two, two, four, five, four, two, four, five, four, two, two, four. Put that open E in there. Now another instrument is doing a little higher end thing. So now we have an E. Yeah, you always have to practice tons of times. The same thing in music. Yeah. Yeah, I've learned that over playing guitar, and I used to play the viola, actually. And I had to practice a lot. E power chord, index finger on that second fret A string. You got the open E with it, and you're gonna have two, four, five, four, two, two, four, five, four, two. Oh, two. Two, four, five, four, two, two, four. Put that open E in there. How was he doing that? I can't remember how I did that. Two, four, five, four.
doesn't sound like that. Dang, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how to play that part. Well. I think I'm going to call it there for today. I've been playing for two and a half hours already. Wow. It went by like that. I forgot how much fun it is to play the guitar. I really haven't played it in so long. It's been two years probably since I last played the guitar. Uh, and yeah, it's just been so long. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll play it sometime again on stream. Yeah, I don't really like that 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 one song if I can't have you. But um I do like the guitar version of it, the one that I've been playing. I think it is really pretty. Wait. Dang. Thank you. 
Hold on. Just once again. Reminds me, it's funny. I, I remember when I was a kid, uh, my brother used to play the guitar a lot, my oldest brother, and I remember always seeing him practicing the guitar and playing songs. And I was like, why would he, why does he keep on playing over and over? And now, having, after, having played it, played the guitar, now I realize you gotta practice a lot. But I'd always, that's funny, I just remembered that. I always had, I was clear picture of him just sitting on the couch playing his guitar. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. <laughs> but 
but he he did a acoustic guitar. He would play the acoustic guitar, and he was way better than I was. He would play it really uh, a lot cooler stuff, and he he practiced a lot longer th longer than I did. And he was into like things like uh, Spanish guitar. If you all have ever heard of Spanish guitar, and uh, what is that static noise? strange is making that noise um no and he would just he would always play the guitar now i just remember that <laughs> No, I need to end it here. I'm, I could, I can play it all day, just playing the same thing over and over. Um, but no, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, no, it was fun. I'll have to do this again. I really enjoyed this, and it's just kind of a hangout. Uh, just practice songs and stuff. I probably won't actually practice off stream because I just have other things to do. <laughs> but it might be fun to start a weekly guitar playing stream or something. I don't know. I think it'd be fun. But uh, for the rest of this week, I have some new sorts of streams I'm going to do. Uh, I have a coloring stream tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to color, but I'm going to color something. Ow. And meanwhile, nobody in my family plays an instrument. Yeah, my... It's funny, I guess almost everybody in my family either used to play or whatnot. My mom played piano a lot when she was growing up and she still does piano lessons for little kids um and she used to she used to play and then my other brother he used to get uh he used to play the mandolin if y'all have ever heard the mandolin um and kind of bluegrass was it bluegrass that he does songs kind of like that like beatles songs or I don't know if it was Led Zeppelin, but he'd do sort of songs like that. And he had a keyboard. And so he would also play the, the piano. Um, but no, uh... Tomorrow, coloring stream. We'll do some sort of coloring stream, I don't know. Probably, I'll probably just color with crayons or something on my... On a piece of paper. And then we've got a cooking stream. I don't know what I'm cooking yet. Cooking something good, that's what I'll be cooking. Maybe I'll make lunch or something. Who knows? Uh, and then a personality test stream. I thought that'd be kind of a fun sort of stream. I don't know if that would be... Maybe I'd have to check if I could get actually permission for that, but that might be a neat stream. And then Friday, I don't know. I Friday's a free space, like in bingo. So... I don't know, maybe if you guys think of anything that you want me to do, or maybe I'll just play a game. Um, but, yeah, that's that's it for today's stream. Man, I've already almost been streaming three hours. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Oh, I'm working on a clip. I'm going to upload that soon. I might send it to you guys in the Discord. Uh, like a highlight clip and see what y'all think beforehand. I don't know. I'm trying new stuff. I'm trying to upload... Uh, frequent uh, highlight clips for my streams and so I'm trying to figure out the format for that so yeah and oh you know what? maybe I could set up a collab or something for Friday I've been talking to some VTubers maybe I could set up a collab anyways I need to stop talking uh goodbye that's all for today thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow goodbye <laughs>